My name is Julius. I'm 62 years old, and I'm addicted to balloons. You know what? Good for you. At least you're not addicted to cigarettes like my father was. They're beautiful. They're soft, smooth, delicate. I have a connection with them. Intellectually, I know that balloons are not alive, but sometimes I wonder if it's my love for them that brings them to life. Oh shit, everything just turned upside down in under 10 seconds. My first reaction was, wow. That's the reaction they showed to gay people in the 1990s. Julius has been addicted to balloons for over five decades. It started when he was a child as an innocent attraction to the shapes and colors. Now Julius has filled his home with over 50,000 balloons and can't sleep unless he's surrounded by them. I can't sleep without my plushie, but it's like having 5,000 fucking plushies. It's a lot. One is enough. Okay, now I'm not going to say this man needs help, because who the fuck cares as long as he doesn't pop balloons in my fucking ears. But that's it. Man, the balloons sure do pop in the nights. Then you're asleep. I love all balloons, but I do have my favorites. I like the crystal clear, the, the transparent. You know, it's like a soap bubble, you know, you can see through it. I, I've got the long ones, the round ones, but my favorite is the spherical ones. Man, you're too wholesome to get roasted. It's like a childish dream. A room with a lot of balloons in it of different sizes and colors. Okay, the title of this video is Meet the man who is sexually attracted to balloons. Now, that was the thing that I wanted to shit out. But this is too childish to shit on. I'm kind of confused. Why? I, I don't know. I guess it's like a guy that prefers blondes or brunettes, you know? Oh, jeez. And it began to get weirder and weirder and weirder. So you say, to you, a balloon is like a woman. Okay, fair enough. But how the fuck do you do the thing with a balloon? I mean, do you rub it on the balloon or do you stick it into the fucking balloon? There's lots of people out there that feel the same way as I do about balloons. There are real people with this kind of thing. One is okay, two it's alright. Enough to get noticed? Like jeez, how many of you guys are out there? But there's two groups uh, of the lunar group. You got the poppers that get aroused by popping balloons. And you got your non-poppers. I'm a non-popper. Julius's addiction to balloons started when he was hospitalized at just four years old. My mother come to visit one time and she gave me a, a real nice blue balloon. But that night, the nurse grabbed it and I heard the balloon pop. So after she left, I just cried myself to sleep. Freud says, that a lot of our problems comes from a traumatic childhood. Well, y'all makes a difference, but Freud is kind of right. We are looking at the face of a real, living, breathing example of that. Since then, the sound of a balloon popping devastates Julius, and he even rescues balloons he believes to be in danger. I'll go to car dealerships and um, do what I call a balloon rescue. When they set them out early in the morning, they're really beautiful. And as the sun uh, bakes on them, they get really dull, uh, misshapen. I feel, you know, like I give them a second chance at life. Okay, remember that I said there are a lot of balloons popping in that house? Sir, how the fuck do you sleep without the night terrors of balloon popping? This is not life, my friend. A life with the constant fear of balloons popping is not a life. My wife thinks it's strange, but she accepts it. You have a fucking wife. I'm not a lunar, and I'm stuck with the pictures of Hazel fucking heart down in my fucking basement. Fuck my life. Well, of course, she is too ashamed of her husband. Look at him, a fucking balloon freak. The fact that he feels like he has to keep it a secret uh, definitely points that there is a, a, a problem. I see nothing wrong with loving balloons, not hurting anybody. Okay, good point. It's not hurting anybody. Oh wait, your wife didn't want to participate in the filming of this freak show. So there is a fucking problem, and it needs to be fixed. Today, his nephew, who's also an addiction counselor, wants to confront the issue and convince Julius to see a therapist. Hope we could convince the man, because the man I see is not convincible at all. 
So I've heard through the family a little talk about your balloons, uh -huh. about your balloon room. So what kind of questions do you have? What do you get out of your balloons emotionally? When I inflate them, it seems like they come to life for me. They don't come to life for you. You bring them to life yourself. Understanding this simple fact would help you a lot. Really? Yeah. I heard that there was a some physical attachment to these balloons, maybe sexually? There's sexual overtones to it. Really? Yeah. What is it that gives you that sense? Is it a smell or a feel? It's all of it. It's all of it. It's the feel, the smell. The looks. The looks, and I don't want to go any further into that. OK. You ever think that maybe there's something wrong? Nope. You know, That's nothing. Do you want to know what happened to this freak right here? Go so check it out yourself. I don't give a shit. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I didn't. Please consider disliking my video and unsubscribing from my channel. Goodbye.